So, I noticed uh, one of the previous speakers has a clause computational biology paper published in which we look at what skills are needed and as part of that we looked at some sociological sort of information on how these things, new innovations tend to work. So we were considering enterprise IT services in particular and the flexibility that they have. So in the plot that we've got here, which is the Butterworth plot, uh, you would probably have enterprise IT services right on the stable side, because they need to do stable stuff, whereas the research side is on the other end of the plot. So we ended up playing sort of a board game. So IT uh, HPC services, I think, are an interesting one, because if it is a real HPC system, it should be right on the edge of being new technologies, so therefore it should be on the lot of effort side. Uh, but as a service, so you want it stable for your users. So therefore you want the service provision to be right on the right hand side. And then what are the users doing on it? Well they're probably doing research that's somewhere between the transitional phase and the left hand phase. And that gives you an idea of how flexible the tools and pe people tend to need. But there's some other interesting plots you've got as well, which have got the hype cycle here. And the HPC community have had, have had RSE for a long time. And I suspect we kind of, we went through a trough of disillusionment a while ago in the HPC community. We, we're quite settled, but I wonder if the new RSE, because a lot of people outside HPC don't know what that is. I think in some places there's a an inflated idea of what an RSE can do. I know when I talk to people on my campus, they think they can do absolutely everything, no cost, 